took part in the annual charity bike ride in Linfield. Yeah, they rode in honor of a young man who died of cancer when he was just 20 years old. His family now on a mission to change survival rates for young adults with cancer. More than 300 bike riders cycling for a cure on the North Shore. It was totally amazing. It was the best day ever. And I'm not just saying that. The 15th annual Reed's Ride is honor of Lorraine Sacco's son, Reed. He passed away in 2005 from an aggressive soft tissue cancer. Two years earlier, when Reed went to the pediatrician with a lump on his leg, doctors misdiagnosed him and told him to simply ice the lump. It motivated his parents to form the Reed R. Sacco Adolescent and Young Adult Alliance. Its mission is to educate the medical community that cancer affects tens of thousands of adolescents and young adults, a group who they say were underserved. For some of the riders and teams that couldn't be here today, they still have fundraisers. They still donate. Even though they can't actually be here on a bike and pedaling, they still raise a lot of money for this cause. The Sacco's raised close to $3 million and opened two centers at Tufts Floating Hospital for Children and Connecticut Children's Hospital and it's helped save countless lives. It's all too common um, and it's unfortunate and I think the research, it's important that we raise the money for the research so they hopefully can end this battle against cancer. Sunday's ride started at Linfield High School and went through six North Shore towns. And ended at Stage 4 Park in Gloucester. We're not going to stop. We are very close and we're going to continue the fight as he would. You don't stop the fight until it's over. Yeah, what great work they're doing. Just spoke on the phone with Lorraine Sacco, Reed's mother. She tells me today's bike ride raised $203,000. So that is incredible. Thank you.